Another day, another pile of shit. Starting to rain again. Yeah. Keep on going. Cool little Kobe. Little beverage. It's old. Aluminum doors for days. Number one. Bed rails. Couple of goodies here. Nobody home. Died a long time ago. Very old house. Very old. No clothes hanging up there for a while. Had enough of you. Fuel tank mocked up. I know it looks like an air tank, but it's a fuel tank. Got it in a scrap pile. So you can see where I'm going with this. Sixty bucks. Little ATV winch, Harbor Freight. It's got a wireless control. Look at that little baby, little baby fair lead. plan is to attach it there and then something like this cable is going to come up through that pulley down to the plow pick it up and put it down that's all I need Oh, little Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, knobs broken here. We got to defeat that monstrous Davy Jones. We got to defeat that monstrous Davy Jones. There we go. Oh well, you get the idea.
That is what I'm talking about. Welded on a little plate there, bolted the winch to that. Oh yeah, look at that. Put some blueberries on it. You gotta toss blueberries to make it work. Oh, that one's a little better. You just hold it right in place. This snatch block here, I've had this for probably the day I was born. I, I was given that. And someday, I was going to need it. Oh yeah, just put a pin right through there. We snotted that thing on there. That's from 1942. Nice old piece of iron. And that's it. Got the control box screwed right to the grill. You don't need any fuses or anything like that. Just hook it right up to the battery. Now we can do some plowing. You don't need that side to side shit anyway. That's just a luxury. We can just sit right in there, the heat on. And then you have a nice day. Woo! What's that? Well, for yours for those of you who don't remember the 88, I think, 88, 89, Dodge Raider. I got this with a clean-out I did of a lady's yard. Bought a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, I sold a lot, scrapped a lot. I was planning on scrapping this. She remembered her, her husband before he lost his mind. Which he literally did lose his mind. He doesn't know what day it is or who he is or anything. Kind of sad, but he's still alive. And uh, she remembers him saying that that, that pump was uh, acting up. And he parked it years ago. Hadn't been running in many, many years. See, it's got a 07 sticker on it. It's got the... Mitsubishi 2.6 with a carburetor and uh, when I got it I started messing with it a little bit just to see and uh, there was no spark and when you turn the key it was nothing there was no ignition there was no power to anything which is really strange so I ended up doing some looking around and running some wires and stuff like that and uh, kind of rigged it up so you know you can just turn your ignition on like that you still have to turn the key on for some reason and then this is the uh, see the starter has seen better days got a bad spot but that's a starter button it's not automatic. It's in four-wheel drive. I've never taken it out. I just left it in there. I didn't want to cause any problems. But I can probably just take all this crap out of there now. Deleted the uh, the whole pump and everything. Um, no frame in the back. It's not even connected to the leaf springs. But you don't need that. It had no fuel tank in it at all. So I was just uh, I had this little tank here from uh, 
old kerosene heater and uh, I just rigged it. The, the beauty part is it still has a mechanical fuel pump so you can just hook the line right to it and suck it in whatever you want and uh, just plug off the return but I ran it last winter uh, you know obviously just as a yard rig for uh, plowing the driveway and stuff makes it really easy a lot of snow up here a lot of the times the snowblower isn't even uh, good enough to do the the uh, banking that the plows leave out there so you need something so anyway I used it and uh, there's a you know a few videos of me fighting with this thing but um, it seems like in the end that pump was just weak um, if you took all the weight off of it it would pick this up it, it would pick up that main piston but um, it didn't have enough to pick up the whole blade and sometimes you'd be plowing and it would all of a sudden have a little bit and it'd pick it up maybe an inch off the ground just enough to drag it around but usually most of the time I was just dragging the blade around and uh, you know it was better than shoveling I guess but um, so as I said I was gonna I had planned on scrapping it because you know that's what I do and uh, I cut the cat off of it the rest of the exhaust was all rotted anyway but I got like 150 bucks for the cat at the time so it was just a front pipe dumped it's pretty loud so I decided since I'm gonna try to use it for another season I had some uh, pipe kicking around I just kinda ran it hammered it into the front and uh, welded it up best I could and then I had this muffler I had to uh, downsize it quite a bit get custom but she's welded right to the frame believe it or not it's weird some things you just hold on to but when I first bought the farm truck there it had a single exhaust and that was the muffler that was on it and uh, that thing is just it's been kicking around it moved with me came all the way up here and I don't know why but it's still uh, still providing a service leave the old the old leave the old pump back there just to you know so it can think about what it's done just ride back there and remind me of all the aggravation so we got the plow working the exhaust is a little quieter a little better um, this thing was completely just screwed uh, it wouldn't open at all, so I ended up cutting in here, just ripping all that latch right out of there. So now we just got a simple handle and a little little latch there, you know. I got this for free, and uh, it was exactly what I was looking for. Didn't want to, I was going to end up putting maybe like a boat tank or something back here. But, um, you know, that little little tank, it lasted a good while, but this is going to be perfect. I don't know how much it holds, but a lot more than that. And uh, she is she is buttoned up. The only thing i got to do is just uh, get a whole bunch of rubber fuel line and just all the way up. You know about that. You know about going all the way up. So, this thing's like a little tractor, never gets stuck. Uh, I do have to uh, put in a plug so I can run my little fancy light. 
maybe some other little improvements. Runs pretty good. Like I said, that uh, like you've seen that starter. Got a little bad spot. Kind of scary, but hopefully one time in the winter it wouldn't go at all. I just hit it with a crowbar and it went, but keys on. Dimmer. They're working. That's what I'm talking about. Little things get me excited. You know. You got tail lights? Woo! Plowing for the state of Maine, boys. <laughs> 